Welcome to this master class. This master class is for you to feel. Well, let's start that again. It's for you to heal, for you to feel, and for you to thrive. And the space that we're going to use today, the organ that we're inviting in, the part of you that we're focused on is your heart. And what happens in your heart during dream time? What happens when you're asking yourself amazing questions with your eyes open or with your eyes closed? What are some of the possibilities that are available for you that you've never been told about? Right now is such an exciting time. So but, um, there's so many reasons for me and you to be completely excited. You to be completely excited. If you understand that you are a location, a, a physical location, much like a cell phone can be dialed, your body, your whole system is a communicating, receiving, and transmitting device. We know through HeartMath Institute, we know through Chinese medicine, we know through the native Peruvian, Indian, um, Eastern European, European traditions, your heart is sending out signals. It's sending and transmitting. You're also receiving. Every part of you receives. And based on the feedback that you have within your biological system, based on your programming, you can receive so much of what's here for you. You can transmit everything that the earth can do, your body can do, everything that you've seen and heard about another human being in any time span, you are capable of as well. There is something so magnificent and it begins in your first heartbeat. And it continues for as long as you exist and are capable of breathing and that breath connected to your heartbeat. So that word heal. <laughs> we have whole classes within Miracle Makers Academy just talking about all just that one word heal and for tonight that energy that I really want for you to understand with the word heal heal means in to be able to the like the base of your foot like a command, heal, like the energy of stability and wholeness. When you look at the word heal in the context of coming from your heart, it's the, the constant, stable, vibratory frequency that you're putting out. And there is your own cell phone signal frequency that wasn't altered, your frequency, the way that you send and receive information that isn't altered by how you were raised, by society's input, by the limitation of language, by the limitation of anything that came before you. Life and nature is self-correcting. You in your energy field have the most magnificent combination lock ding, 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 lined up to create what only you can create. And this combination lock, you might have felt on 
fire, passionate, just gung-ho with energy going so beautifully over and over and over again. You might have had that experience when you were a kid, endless energy. You might have seen it in others, this frequency, this uh, magnetic radiation, everyone turning, looking. That is that healed, whole, your stable frequency that is just so yummy that you sit on the edge of your seat wondering what you're going to say next. <laughs> what exciting thing is coming for you? It's such a gift that you get to give yourself. I'm so excited that heal that. And there again, within Miracle Makers Academy, we have so many, so much content for you to really address and amplify and bring about healing for your body, for your mind, for your spirit. We have that for you so that you and we continue to do these classes for you. Today's particular class and invite is during this time called Lion's Gate. The ancient Egyptians, the Essenes, all of the different time frames of ancient wise ones knew that great things happen during particular planetary alignments. Those that had their senses, you've got your sense of smell, you've got your sense of taste, you've got your eyesight, your hearing, those that have even more of that, the sense to feel pressure. Some people can feel the rain coming in their joints. The extra senses to feel, taste things, combinations. Wikipedia right now defines about 22 different senses that you have. The ancient ones listed um, about 360 in different temples and different places in ways when you learn to look at the information from this perspective, from the perspective of it's designed to teach you how to turn on your own senses and your own abilities, these powerful places, the pyramids lined up with the, the stars, Sirius, with Orion's belt. Right now, we've gone through, a, and every year we go through great, great celestial experiences where the planets are aligned this particular way. Right now, we're going through the lion's gate, and it is amplified energies. The combination lock of the celestial, uh, uh, celestial bodies are designed to help you access and restore many of your 360 senses. What you've got is unique to you and can only be enhanced by you fully stepping into and participating in listening to your heart and feeling your heart and listening to the stars and getting very present in the current moment. You don't have to be in the great temples. You don't have to be in these low, um, these meridian points that align with star systems because the cosmos have opened to align with you. <laughs> Isn't that magnificent? So is above, so is below. You being chosen right now during this time if you're paying attention to the signs and you're your playful, most happy self, witnessing and participating with the energies around you in the current moment. You've got heal, you've got feel, right? Feel the moment, feel the right now, feel 
the earth plane that you are on. Feel what's occurring within your body. The cosmos, yes, they change your body. A full moon, high tides in the ocean, the we know things <laughs> in school, medical school, in um, the clinics, and when hospitals filled up during the, the full moon. During the summertime, we had particular kinds of illnesses. During the wintertime, another whole set that were based spiritually, spiritually based illnesses that we labeled mentally and emotionally and then physically came up with solutions for. The ancient ones had rituals and traditions and they listened to feel the cosmos, to feel the earth. And what did they feel it with? They felt it with their heart. They held it with the babies. They held the cosmos and the earth and the bridges with all of the animals that opened up their hearts, including the babies. Pure energy. Right now, try on some of these ideas. Try them on from the perspective of, wow, our or do I have extra senses? If I do have extra senses, how do I turn them on? You might also try, yes, right now, during the planetary alignment, extraordinary things are possible and happening. Breathe that in. Just try that on. You get 4 billion bits of information a second. 4 billion bits. You can only register about 2,000 bits until you get more and more present. The more you are in the moment, the more of the present moment is available for you. <laughs> the more you're in the present moment, the more your heart can read and transmit energy, the more you can heal, be stable, connected to everything. The more you can feel, the more you can thrive. So beautiful, so important. The cosmos are always aligning for the next step of our journey, of the process. Um, it's that our cosmos are the leading birds, right? When you watch birds fly in that V formation, geese flying south for the winter or back up north in the summer, They've got an internal GPS that shows them that location. Turtles in the ocean, this internal GPS, they're drawn back to lay eggs to where they were born. You've got an internal GPS, your heart, your system, your pineal gland, your heart connected to your pineal gland, your extra senses completely aligned using your whole system. The cosmos, right? The cosmos around us are going through and moving at such a rapid pace. And they are opening up. And you, who is sensitive, you can feel this, pick this up, experience this in the most magnificent way. What is the next thing, information, energy 
that I have to become aware of, that you have to become aware of. The Mayans knew that we had 26,000 year cycles. I've spent time with someone who's probably 3,000 years old. That's what he says. He calls himself the native son. Shares great, incredible stories. Speaking to Mayan day keepers, learning about different calendars. All right, so what does different calendars and Mayans knowing the 26,000 year cycle and this time and alignment have to do with your heart? Why is this important? Everything that you have been through, every event, every hurtful thing, every wonderful thing even, has been designed to awaken you from the seeds planted within your heart. To give you access to parts of yourself to be able to embrace the greatest good that can come through you is a holy moment in your life, right? When you can embrace what's supposed to because your heart has all of the programming for it, comes through. Wow, what a magnificent moment that is. You've, you've heard the stories, an acorn, right? The seed itself destroys itself in order when it's sprouting, when it's popping up that first seed, then into a little shoot and then into a magnificent tree and then dropping acorns and a field, a forest of oak trees, of acorns, of that's, you've got a seed. And we know and hear the stories of those that realized their seeds, their seeds with an S. You've got 360 senses. The Mayan elders with their senses were able to chart the course that we're on today, right? They knew, they're, they're not there, but they left the records. And when I say they're not there, I say for those that do not have the eyes to see it, they're not there. You've got the eyes and the possibilities to see everything that's ever existed and to connect with it based on heal, feel, thrive, heal so that that seed that's inside your heart can sprout everything that's happened to you Yes, magnificent, magnificent adjustments for your nature. Nature is always self-correcting. So I was born in Pakistan. My nature and my nurture taught me and I still have relatives that have had this experience. Not talk to any boys or men. It was petrifying, right? I have aunts that have never been in a room with a male that they're not related to. There are people all over the world. Why is that important? If Someone like me can get my voice 
and get out and amplify it. There are anything that you've gone through by really healing, getting that seed, nurturing your heart. Years of thousands of years of DNA training to not speak and only be spoken to in my genetics. For many, many women, that's the case. Unless their mom and they had examples of moms that were out there running marathons and breaking laws, <laughs> corporate ceilings, right? It's us, it's you, it's you, it's you. For the guys, for the men, oh my gosh, the, the way that your emotions not being expressed. The training that you've had to shut down anything, everything. Only the logic possibly, and only if the logic is in alignment with the consensus. Or you've got a massive amount of um, something, right? Are you given permission to speak and create differently? Thousands and thousands of years of labeling you guys as they only want one thing and they only think with the lower brain, blah, blah, blah. All of the years of putting men down, that they could be tempted by women, that could lose their value system based on something. So incredible what we've done to men. Not allowed to feel, conquering is allowed, but feeling is not allowed, men to men. It's so amazing that the planets, the celestial, this lion's stargate, we, what you feel, what you heal, what you feel, what you're thriving in, you're setting the tone. You are the lead birds. This is what humanity will heal, feel, and thrive in. This is why it's so important for you to feel good and be part of this conversation. I love teaching this class and having you be part of this class because your heart, joy, frequency, being able to fully, fully embody what you're here to do is so, so important. No one else can do this for you. No one else can turn on and heal and feel and thrive in your heart. No one else can master you. You've got to master your own, I hold my cell phone, right? I've got so many apps in there that I've never even opened. You've got so many apps in you, you've never even opened. <laughs> they all get opened with your power button, with your heart. You send and receive information with your heart. Lionsgate, this time frame. You are setting up your energy and all energy for the next 13,000 years. That's, that's the vortex energy. It's so beautiful when you really think about it, mind-blowing. You are as old as everything. You are as old as time. What's in your bones? 
the, the composite, what makes them, iron, nitrogen, every element was forged in a star, floated dust, earth, imbued with all of the four elements. You have fire in your digestive system. You have fire in your heart. The way that your heart compresses and presses blood through the muscles of the heart starts with an electrical charge. An electrical charge comes in. <laughs> Star fire comes in compresses and blood flows all over your body and the more you are in service the more of your brain becomes available incredible the more of your service, the more of your brain that becomes available, the more you're able to use all of your senses. You've got brain matter all over your body. If I go like this, if you go like this, your brain registers it, right? Eyes open, eyes closed. So we come to the energy of when your eyes are closed, when you're driving a car, when you're in the bathroom and your brain waves change from just sheer logic into energy and thoughts start coming up and the thought of your ex comes up the thought of all of the challenges come up all of the things that you had anticipated or wanted to be different from how they are come up you are creating when you're in the car when you're seated and doing routine stuff when you're right about to go to bed and these thoughts come in, the memories come in, you have true access to what is required to heal within you. Whatever that's one, right? One is you're busy with your body performing a task that you've done so many times that you go into free fall thinking. This beautiful free fall thinking, this beautiful, thank you so much, love. Yay. This beautiful free fall thinking allows for you to know what is next for you to heal, reveal, connect, participate in the current moment in. So for years, I wanted to be able to talk to my parents in a particular way. For years, driving in a car, I could see my conversations with them. I could feel them. And until I was willing to really, really address everything about that experience that could be healed from the inside out, Heal it, reveal it, reveal. Healing is revealing, revealing is healing. You're only as sick as your secrets. Every secret that I was afraid of my parents finding out, they know. <laughs> healing, revealing. For me, that was really important. 
for me, it's really important that the people in my life, Greg knows everything that I think is important for him to know about me and him. Healing, revealing. Whatever comes up during those quiet moments, you've got to find a way to talk to someone that sees outside of you. I want to say that another way. When you're in it, you can't see it. A fish in water cannot see the water. You were in that situation, you can't see it. And so you've got to get someone with extra senses. <laughs> with perspective, with possibility, you can call it in. And that source, love, God, your cell phone signal, your cell phone, your heart has a lot of apps. You can say, I really want this heal." And this incredible app of yours, your heart, will draw in the exact conversation. Someone will ask you a question that either hurts you or um, offends you. So all information coming to you either informs you, gives you information, or it affects you, it changes you, it alters your vibration. And again, so many of the classes in Miracle Makers, right, we've addressed how to look at this and all the future classes will continue. It either informs you or it affects you. If it informs you, Oh my gosh, you have power over it. You have choice. You have possibility. If you wake up more of yourself, more of your heart, more of your senses, you have more possibilities. So like reading Dr. Seuss's book, One Fish, Two Fish, Three Fish, Blue Fish, right? As a kid, so different than reading it to my kids. <laughs> and then going in and fully understanding some of Dr. Seuss's stories now, because I've got the mind to see it. I've got the senses to see it. You've got so many senses, apps, possibilities. And so every time a memory comes up, from the past, it either informs you or affects you. If it informs you, and you're like, oh, that's interesting that that memory came up. There may be a Dr. Seuss version of something in there for you. <laughs> and to really take a look at it and share about it and talk about it. It might be one of your friends needs to hear the story right now. And it came up for a healing for them. Because like those birds in V formation, like schools of fish, you are connected deeply to a group of people through your heart. One set of grouping that was made is the zodiac sign, right? Zodiac sign categorizes, qualifies people. The archetypes, but ultimately it's your heart that knows. There are temples in India dedicated to past life removal for children 
a two-year-old begins to speak, begins yelling at their mother and saying, I told you not to make that mistake. Like their passed away mom or great grandmother. They take them to the temples. They hit reset. Why is this important? We're gonna do a meditation in a few minutes that's gonna be a reset. And instead of removing <laughs> past life experiences, we're gonna reset so that you're fully able to participate at the highest level in this life for all your lives. I, I love my husband so much. He brings me coffee. He fills my cup, right? When I met him, I was not, I was so broken and in service. I didn't sleep, I didn't very often, I smoked cigarettes constantly, I was, am still probably a little bit of a workaholic. I love to serve, I love to give, I love to be the most that I can be. And here comes a beautiful man in the holiest way to meet, right? I met him at, um, in front of the stage at a concert, God said, spend time with him. I knew how to listen to flow in God. And so many years now, even though in my, my heart had that reset, my heart had the reset always, permission given to God to redirect my life. And so everything changed in my life based on the reset even though my logical mind was like god i've got plans to be in a clinic in mexico in a few weeks god he's not my type god this is not fun for me he yells a lot god this is yucky reset reset every time hearing from god and am I grateful? Utterly. We've worked through all the yuck. <laughs> We've worked through into synergy, into heal, feel, thrive. We've worked through. You were part of the soul family. We worked through and are able to generate a academy that helps give to everyone on the planet. And it, it's designed to work so we take small projects on. Reset, reset, reset. Your heal. What is it you're here to heal? What is it that, you know, what are, when you say to a doggy, heal, you're getting that energy to sit and be informed by you. You're allowing the greatest good that can come through you to become and come through you. Heal. Feel. That seed, you're feeling that seed bursting open, passionate. You're in service, your eyes, you're able to receive more of the 2000 bits being registered in the current moment. Every one of the stories that come up for a healing every one of your questions that you keep asking yourself. I used to ask myself, what's wrong with you? 
What's wrong with you? You can't be on time. What's wrong with you? That you're so nervous. What's wrong with you? When I change and your, my body and my mind and everything's so smart, it found what was wrong with me <laughs> and created more wrong with me. Your system, your body is designed to remember the negative like Velcro, it sticks. The positive slides off like Teflon, like sealed surfaces. So for those that are here in the heal world, in the healed world, know this. They know when you meet someone, you're going to experience Cog cognitive dissonance if you're both awake. If you are awake, I love, um, this is the negative neural bi biases from the survival world of ego and duality. This is what jo Jack Austin has shared. Thank you, Jack. The neuronal neur uh, um, bias. Until you're there and awake, and um, we continue to wake more and more and more, right? The negative sticks. So important. That negative neuronal biases, Velcros. And we have Velcroed a lot of things in humanity over our eyes, over our energy field. This Velcro can only be ripped off by small groups of dedicated people stepping fully into a space, a knowing, a remembering, remembering. So you meet someone for the first time and you're fully, fully understanding that the negative sticks, the positive rolls off, you understand that your heart and your body is designed to live in the current moment. Everything that you've learned before now, all of the past is ingredients for you. The past is in front of your eyes. It is available for you to utilize. Every memory gets reshaped and reformed and replaced and remembered based on your current vibration and frequency. The next 13,000 years for your heart, your energy field is being designed right now. This incredible energy field, this incredible time on the planet requires you to actively participate in seeing with your mind's eyes, with your third eye, with the projector, with your imagination, what you wish to see in the world. It requires you to fully understand what is informing you, what is affecting you, and to give those layers to others. I'm going to say that another way because if you have had energy that has been wonky, if you have done or experienced things that you know and are witnessing others experience, if you can give them forgiveness for themselves. So someone's struggling with finances, 
and they do something dumb, you forgive them, right? Even if it's they owe you, and it affects you, you actively go, there was a time that I was that way too. Forgiveness, that energy. And I I bring up finances because it's so close to our hearts, right? Where you put your money, where you give money, really is a telltale sign of what you value. So I took my daughter very quickly today. Um, We love consignment stores and um, thrift stores, and she really, really loves them because she's redesigning. But she said, Mom, I need to go to this one. And she went in, and and we see it as recycling and saving the earth. Anyway, she and she and her girlfriend, her girlfriend needed something, Jazzy went, and this is generally her case. She buys something for someone else, soups it up, decorates it, and and creates a, a magnificent piece of art. Very rarely, it's like, it's so hard to get my daughter to buy herself something. The only place she does is horse, um, these saddleries, these saddle places for horses and for herself because she really loves horses and unless it's for charity. Why do I bring this up? Again, where you put your money, right, really shows your value system. What you connect with God, with love, what you give your attention to. So your mind's eye creating the future. There are as many realities as there are people. And in the places that we're going now, in this amazing reality that we are co-creating right now, you've got the possibility of setting up your own reality for the next 13,000 years based on your heart frequency, your value systems, what you're seeing in your mind's eye. Every person is a little piece of heaven. Again, when we look at ancient texts, when we look at the walls, when we look at the prophecies, the heavens with an S and earth were created. Each person, you are heaven. And earth was created. A fish out of water struggles. A bird out of the sky, covered in oil, its wings not able to breathe and move, struggles. You, out of connection, out of heavens with another, out of heaven with another, is crazy. By definition, I'm going to say that another way. A fish is flopping. A bird is flopping. You not connected to either source or another person. And it's really being connected to yourself. Struggles. Authentic connection. You are, by definition, when we look at your body and scan cortisol levels, um, parts of you shut down. How does heaven get created? You serve earth. You serve another human being, animal, person, tree, field of energy. You go into service you start getting connected. 
we go into deeper and deeper and deeper service and everything that happens for you either informs you or affects you. This information, this information, right? So if it doesn't affect you, you have possibility over the form. Your heart and the way that it adjusts is resetting nature. If it affects you, it can either be pleasant or unpleasant. And again, that whole part of really fully understanding, if you're not connected to yourself, a feeling of heaven, the heavens within you, Connect, you can connect and tell another human being anything about yourself. You can let the Velcro of the negative experience be over and absorbed into the understanding of oneness. I want to say that another way for you. Many of us were taught that it's a zero sum situation. If I get a little bit more attention, then someone else over here can't have as much. Or if I get, um, or if you get something like zero sum, it's got to all equal out and be balanced. We got taught that in families. Oh, don't eat the whole thing. You got to save some for your sister. Don't blah, blah, blah. When at any moment, more could be arriving at the door. More she not be hungry abundance and it's important one seed one acorn seed creates a million billion infinite number one correct idea one correct seed I love quoting Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks and Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey, right? Marianne Williamson, JFK. It's not what your country can do for you, it's what you can do for your country. It's these, these seeds sprouted. You've got your seeds sprouting. <laughs> Why are they sprouting? Because the cosmos have aligned. And they are requesting, you are requesting, you are the cosmos. You are requesting, what will my energy field be like for the next 13,000 years? Because we're going to only go up from here. In formation, anything that affects you unpleasantly is designed for you to see your shadow self. If it hurts your heart, it's designed to wake it up, to let light in. Anything that's healed in your body, a bone that heals, is stronger than any other part. In the areas that you're willing to say, wow, I got hurt because I saw a zero sum there. It's not a zero sum. That was trying to give to me that experience.
oh, my mom was trying to give me consideration for others. She wasn't trying to take something away. The memory, remembering, reforms. My mom, when we were, we would go to restaurants, we get catered food a lot. And so my mom and our catered food would always make sure every corner of the trays had food in it. If there was even a tiny amount missing, my mom would say, hey, we need more food in that corner. And when I was a kid, that used to embarrass me. It really, like, oh my gosh, it was embarrassing. I was like, mom, it's okay, it's just a little bit. But today, everything that they have came from the subtle energy of little bits. That little bit being out of integrity. They didn't notice it wasn't, they were trying to cheat anybody. No zero sum, right? <laughs> no zero sum. They just didn't notice that little corner didn't have food. And my mom, we got it filled so that when we came home for the 15 holy people that showed up at our house, there was that much more food. I'm so grateful to reframe all of every memory without the zero sum. This is healing. And then to rehearse with your mind's eye that everyone sees you. With your mind's eye that they understand you, that you're not misunderstood. It's time to reset and rewrite those stories. It's time to step confidently in the direction of sprouting your seed. No one else can do it for you. And so what does that look like? You've got to be able to connect connect oh so deeply. You've got to feel. And whatever it is that causes you to feel, I love listening to music. Music causes me to feel. I love being in um, the elements. I love trees. I love hiking. In Miracle Makers Academy, again, there's a homework where you sit down and you make a bliss list. So that's part of your assignment. Make a bliss list. What brings you joy? Joseph Campbell. Doors will open for you where there are none. So right before you go to sleep, dream time, right when you're waking up, your body is ripe for programming. You've got to think about what it is that you want to be rehearsing in the world. What I rehearse in the world is us saying, oh my God, it's been a hundred years of no war. It's been a hundred years of us feeding each other. Oh my goodness, we, gravity is not what we thought it was. Oh, that's so exciting, teleporting. Oh, 4D print, you know, 3D printers were really just a way that we started being able to manifest into our own experience. Every human is in service to earth, to themselves, and to the cosmos. Being able to remember belonging. What do I rehearse? That's what I'm rehearsing, those conversations. 
more than enough, that we take flight, you take flight in the direction of your highest, greatest joy. Your seed sprouted, and there's so many seeds around, and now you're getting to do everything. And together we co-create more than enough. I know what it tastes like. I know what it sounds like. I can feel it. It's extraordinary. What are you going to practice? If at night you sit down and you write out all the things that are kind of on your mind, then you set them down and you're like, oh yeah, what am I rehearsing? What am I seeing with my mind's eye? Oh, what I'm seeing is every, Greg had this vision, Greg and I had this vision in, um, in I don't remember the year, maybe 10 years ago, it was before we had both children, so 12 years, at least 12 years ago. He saw the vision of every uh, military field being used as a space of distribution of food and resources, distributed with joy. This is a vision, mission, sort of um, at the last Parliament of World Religions in November 2018 that I got to share with a lot of people is that we have peace corps that we'd go to regions and have women and men come in and spend one year developing this energy of peace for their communities, how to build gardens. It's state sponsored in every country and I saw it in Pakistan and I saw it in India and in Nepal and Bangladesh that women and men Women teach women, men teach men. This government sponsors these Peace Corps. They're able to do simple engineering, simple uh, community building activities. And then they're given back to their communities with all of these resources. Imagine that in Saudi Arabia, in Yemen, in Egypt, in all of Africa, in the United States. A year that we're given in what I will call tribal leadership. It's Seth Godin's um, or Dave Logan's conversation, five tribes of people. And we walk people through all of the layers of those how tribe mentalities, the first tribe mentality is life sucks, everything sucks. And that's where the shooting and the terrorism, those people, that's the tribe that they feel they belong to, that the only way out of that tribe is to annihilate themselves or others. The second tribe that my life sucks, right? That's the second tribe. But there's other tribes out there that work. And you begin being able to see that there's a difference. Not all life sucks. If you acquired money or resources or God or the right, whatever, you could transcend it, whatever was down here. The third tribe is really at this level of, it's my job, it's my, I've, I am, this is, this is what's right, this is what's wrong. This is where we are collectively right now, in this third tribe, where, oh, I'm, I'm to stay in this lane with my heart, with my feelings, with my emotions. This is right, this is wrong. This is the shadow, this is the light. This is evil, this is good. This is that third tribe is really, and they want to align themselves with being right. 
and in the roles and in those processes. And then there's the fourth tribe and it's a value system. And so value system of miracle makers, right? To be of service, it's the most that I can be. Value system, so beautiful. The value system of oneness. I'm not your friend. I'm not your enemy. I'm not your guru. I am you. You are loved. I love. I am loved. That's oneness. You're forgiven before you do anything. That's a value system within miracle makers. That's, that's the fourth tribe, right? Um, Zappos. There, um, or the city of Austin, stay weird. That whole value system grows on that, that fifth tribe. It's that fifth level of tribe, leadership, responsibility, wholeness. From the perspective, no one can pay you back for all that you're doing and will do and have done. A tribe of people that do good from there's more than enough. More is coming. Let's continue to give each other feedback that aligns us to the greatest good. Forgiveness. Reparations. Really incredible. And again, there's three classes in Miracle Makers Academy that are much better done than that. This is Jack Austin. Thank you, I love the comments. Um, and I'm so grateful that this is privately shared. Um, so I feel comfortable. Native Aid, not a music festival for the Native cultures to be financially supported. So much as the music and healing traditions brought together for the healing and wholeness of Western capitalist culture to be made conscious so they will rise to level seven from the survival level. Beautiful comment, Jack. I hope you don't mind that I read that. After I read through it, I felt you'd be comfortable with that. There's so much um, for you. I'm so grateful that you're here. I'm gonna um, hit stop. Much of the, in the recording part for this part, much of what we're going to share in the readings will be directly for you to heal your heart, directly for you to know for yourself the answers to these profound questions. What's coming next in the private part of this is answers to the questions that have not yet been answered in the first portion of this for you. And then specific answers for you, your purpose, how to get and feel your heart and experience it feeling. I love you. Thank you for joining me for this masterclass.